Hey everybody, welcome back to Pass the Money. Today we got another reaction video, uh, reaction Wednesdays. And I'll let the video play, but this is the the point of, you know, the Pass the Money Plan channel. Um, I love to hear, I just, I love hearing people talk about money, but to see people have some certain knowledge of how money works is a great idea. So with all that being said, just watch the video and then we'll come back to the react. Y'all ain't rushing to get to the league. I, I'm chilling. <laughs> I'm chilling. 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 I'm Fully, like man, price went up. The Trust prices me. went through the roof. National yes, championship prices, price. not today's price. <laughs> y'all are babies sitting on seven figures. Like, what? How do y'all deal with that? You rode it on a little scooter, like just riding around campus, and y'all are millionaires. Man, I, I I read a lot of books. Like I'm really in tune. Like I read a lot of books, and the best way to stay rich is to act broke, and that's no, what I do. Real. I don't buy nothing, I go, I don't buy nothing. If I want some clothes, have a brand send me some clothes, I want some food, I'm going to a nutrition center. Like, I'm not, nah, like, you know. Okay, Alex, I'll let you go first, because I, I already know your favorite part of the video. I already know the your favorite part. Your favorite part <laughs> is when, when she said, if I'm hungry, I'm not going to buy food, I'm going to the nutrition center. I know that was your favorite part, but go ahead. <laughs> Yeah, that and just like the amount of money she's bringing in and she's still thinking of ways to not have to pay for something like that's the best. Like that's how you should be thinking. If there is a free option, take it. And so many people, I think like once they get a little bit of money, they think, oh, now I, I can just start affording things. No, just if you still have the advantage to get something for a lower price or cheap or free, still stick with that option. I mean, um, like, and it wasn't just that it was with, um, her stating that, uh, she'll reach out to her, the brands for free clothing. Like that's like, that's brilliant. If you have a partnership like that, I know it's, yeah, I know in their scenario, it's because they're, they're in sports, but, um, but yeah, that was cool to hear. Um, I knew, I know a kid that, uh, while he was in college and he also had his own business, but he had a scholarship through college, had his own business and lived off campus. He would get free meals and he would just eat, you know, use those free meals to uh, to eat throughout the day. So but yeah, that's um, I like it, I, especially be, being that they're so young. I think that's that was the, uh, one of the main things I realized about it. You know, one of one of the things that caught my attention was that they're they're so young and a lot of the youth today, they get poor financial information and uh, to see someone that young start at that age making that income like there's they're, they're going to be set by the time they're in their 40s 50s i mean at that at, at that rate especially making seven hundred thousand dollars a year right and alex i know you don't know uh, much about sports at all so i'll give you a, a quick update on this so you mm -hmm. notice in there the uh the gentleman that was interviewing him he said y'all not trying to go to the league y'all not trying to go pro and the reason why is just recently over the past two years, but before two years ago, college athletes was not allowed to make one penny outside of the money that they had in the scholarship. If they did, like as a job or as a anything, they would get, they would lose their scholarship. So two years ago, we switched to an NIL deal. Um, it's likeness and kind. I don't, I don't know the correct acronym for it, but two years ago, they signed that. Now student athletes can make money off their brand, their own personal brand and likeness. So when it comes to women's basketball, women's basketball, now these these uh, women in college are making more money off their endorsement deals from NIL than they would make if they went pro. So like uh, on the video, you've seen that uh, he said that you're making 700000 you know, a million dollars a year off of brand deals, right? But... And that's just in college. But if they go pro, I think the max contract in the WNBA is like $300,000 a year. So they're making more money now. That's why he said, no, I'm chilling. I ain't, I ain't looking to go to the league because they're making more money now in college 
with all these brand deals and stuff. And of course, they can go pro and still have brand deals, but they won't have it like they probably won't have it like this in college. But for me, the of course, you know, my my favorite line was when she said, uh, I read books. You usually when people, especially that age, they have this money thrown at them and they just think, oh, nothing can go wrong. I, I can afford anything. I can take over the world. You can't tell me nothing, especially at that age. I remember how, how I was at that age. If I was making that kind of money, nobody would be able to tell me nothing. I would be like the Antoine Walkers and, and stuff who had a lot of money and just blew it all because I didn't have the literacy. My favorite thing was, and we always talk about this on this channel, is if you don't have successful people around you, put yourself around successful people, i.e. reading books really going on uh you know podcasts and uh social media for people that's really doing it and understand money you know and she said i read books and i know what how to keep money is you have to be rich but act like you're broke that's how you get money if you all always around flashing you know every time like people in the nine to five world they might get a bonus or they may get their tax returns and they go ball out for two seconds then they gotta go back to work and struggle all the, through the rest of the year because they they have to ball out because that's what society tell them. And so when she said that, like she rode up on a scooter, she ain't come in there, no Audi A8 or no, you know, Benz or nothing like that. Riding a scooter, you know, not getting, you know, not going to the, you know, Gucci and you know, red bottoms. I don't know who make those. I think it's Louis Vuitton or something like that. Sorry, sorry for you fashion nieces out there when I said the wrong, said the wrong brand, but she's not coming in with that. She just uh give me the free clothes, give me the clothes that the that the uh you know university provide for athletes. Give me whatever, because I want to keep my money so I can use it to grow more money in the future or just keep it. If you 100 percent scared to invest, scared to pass, it is better for you just to keep your money and hold on to your money than not spend it. Even if you just save, 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 save. Now, of course, we know depreciation is going, I mean, uh, inflation is going to kill you. But you're still in a better place than somebody that just went out there and blew their money. So that that was the part that I like that she said, I read books. I, st I understand what it is to have money. That is because you don't hear that from people 19, you know, 20. I don't want to put an age on them, but I know it's not higher than 24. You don't hear that. The only other person I heard that said something like that is you and maybe one other person. <laughs> I mean, at that age, you know? And so those are those are very key elements. I mean, people in their 40s and 50s still don't even understand that concept. You know, it's a reason why people out here struggling and things like that is because they've had, you know, a nice chunk of change. And I'm not going to put a number on there, but more money than they ever had in one time. I mean, I don't care if it's tax returns, I don't care if it's a, a bonus from work or something like that, that they could have used that to be the foundation of their family tree to, you know, build off of that. But 90% of the people that get that chunk of money at one time, they, they it's like they trying to catch up for all the past times they didn't have money. So they just go blow it on stuff. And then next thing you know, they need that job. And I'm not saying a signing bonus or tax return is going to, going to get you out of a nine to five job. But if you just stack every year, you stack your tax returns for the people that still get money on uh, tax returns. You stack that every year and just invest it every year, you know, index fund, index mutual fund, something like that every year. And so let's say you put in, I think the average is like fifteen hundred, two thousand dollars, whatever. If you did that every year and just grew that uh, started at an early age, you still will be more well off. You will be less dependent on the job. Way less dependent on the job than somebody who just blew the money. If you took that money and put it in rental properties, now you got cash flow that's coming in every month, or you put it in, uh, you know, a dividend index fund, and then you're living off the dividends. When you get sixty five, you're sitting there in a good position. You have a you have the quote unquote now you have that pension to go along with Social Security because you know pensions are not there no more. But you have some form of cash flow coming in. Uh, when you get to 65. And again, I'm talking to the people that just have the regular nine to five jobs and that's how you get ahead. You know, then you can save more money. Then you can add more investments to the scale. So 
that's the that's the thing that I seen in the video, and I just really love seeing people younger than me, especially people making not making the same mistakes that I made when I was that age. Because when I went to the army, you know, I got assigned a bonus, but the thing was gone in the wind. I was I was balling. I was making it rain with my little fifty six hundred bucks. I was I was making it rain. So I'm I'm very glad and I'm proud of the young ladies for being able to uh, put that together and make it happen. Yeah, I love seeing that, um, you know, people that have some sense of financial knowledge, um, you don't you don't see it much with people and people just can't seem to grasp. And my my biggest point has always been that I would rather live like I'm broke right now in the beginning, use all that money that I can make and buy my freedom. And once I have my freedom that is constantly cash flowing, for example. Then if, you know, it like I remember I was talking to you about um, and I don't mean to get off track, but just going to a point off of this is someone that, you know, and I won't mention their name, but someone that, you know, that is very wealthy. And I asked him, I was like, does he live like you, like in a regular house? And you're like, well, no, he lives in an estate, but he can afford it. Like when you get to that point, then what you know, what does it even matter? But until then you've got work to do and you need to be focused on your goal and you need the, the most important thing is building that foundation and leading you to, you know, that path in life where you have that cash flow to buy your freedom. And then other people are providing you with the lifestyle. But until then you have to be focused on the numbers because if not every single dollar you put towards something that's useless is going to hold you back. And most people don't see that is that and, and that's the only thing I can see, you know, anytime you're starting to invest in stocks, you're starting to invest in real estate or you're starting your business. And then every time friends or family or whoever asking you for money and you're giving out money or you're buying stuff, you're going out all the time. That money is holding you back from progressing your businesses or progressing your investments to get to where you want to be because you're too focused on blowing it elsewhere on things that don't matter. And you're always going to be held back. I can't say it any better than that. With all that being said, um, please like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next video. Y'all have a good day. Save your money. We'll see you guys.